Good morning everybody. Here I am in my office today. Thought I'd use a different part of the school, somewhere I spend a lot of time in actually. And here I am with this week's virtual newsletter. Can't believe it's Tuesday morning again. Here we are already in school waiting for the children to arrive who are coming today to Team Hawaii. To those children who are in every day whilst their parents are working on the front line to help us all support us to get through this, this difficult time. And I've got lots to talk to you about today. I won't take too much of your time, but I've got a few things to say. I guess I want to say to you, this is hard. As I've said in many of my communications, this is hard for everybody. It's hard if you're a grown-up, it's hard if you're a child, and it's hard if you're a teacher, it's hard if you do any, any walk of life. Everything has changed so, so much. Um, and I've, I hope somebody saw my newsletter earlier in the week home has become school and home for the children was a place where they could get away from school, get away from learning, get away from everything and so all of a sudden school is coming into home and home isn't school and school isn't home and, and it's all got a bit confused and I think that makes it really really hard for the children not to be able to segregate that time but not much we can do about that at the moment. Also I think for the adults, obviously you're not teachers, many of you aren't teachers some of you are, um, and suddenly you've had to become this teacher overnight, you're also, you've also got to be the parent, and you're also trying to juggle your jobs, home life in general, everything, and, and it's, yeah, it's, it's tough, and just to say you're amazing, and you're incredible, and you're doing a great job, whatever you manage to do, do it, and, but just take it in your stride, and don't get stressed out about it, just do what you can do. You may have seen in the newsletter, I put a link to our school website in there and we're populating a page called Remote Learning. And now in there is our remote learning policy. Um, we're in the middle of, of putting something together aside from that. But also there's some frequently asked questions um, that I think might help you, might make you feel better, might help you when you're second guessing yourselves, when you're worrying. So do have a look at that, it's under news. Um, in the, on the yellow section, I think it is off the top of my head, um, and it's under the, the page for remote learning. So please do take a look. On there, I've actually tried to answer some of the feedback you've given us from the questionnaire I sent out earlier in the week. If you haven't had a chance yet, please do fill it in. Let us know what we're doing well, but let us know what we need to improve. And I've tried to address some of the things. I read every single person's feedback, so I've tried to address in there some of the things that have come up. Please do know that if you do give us feedback and you don't see things changing, there are reasons why, and if you want to talk to me about it, I'm more than happy to chat that through with you. It's really frustrating when we get feedback from parents and we don't know who it is because then we can't help. So if you know that you've given us some feedback that's about improvement or things you're not too happy with, please do get in touch so we can help. It, it's a really hard balancing act. Some people say, there's too much communication, some people say it's fine, some people say there's too much learning, some people say there's not enough, some people say my child finds it hard, some people say my child finds it easy, and we're constantly trying, uh, trying to get that balance right. So, so talk to me, talk to the teachers, and, and we really will do our best. I've mentioned the newsletter a couple of times, please do read it, but please do read the last but one page. That is for the children, and there's a letter there from me and the Clock House team to help them along the way, to remind them how amazing they are and to help and to help them really. So please do share that with them if you feel it's appropriate. Keep putting your hearts up, it's lovely to see and we've got a team walking around the streets at the moment this week giving out little presents if you've got a heart in your window and spread it amongst the community. Tell everyone, we want to fill Collier Row with hearts. So please spread the word, the more hearts we can get out there the more we're going to have that feel-good feeling. Also, we're nearly ready with our Strictly video. We need more videos from you. Can you send some more in and we can get those, get that going and get that out to you as soon as possible. Next week is, next Tuesday, Safer Internet Day. And Miss Taylor, who leads computing in our school, is busy putting some things together to do on that day with you all. So have a look out for that. It's important that we use the internet safely. And with half term coming up, you may or may not know school will be shut. School will be completely shut for half term. 
If you are entitled to meal vouchers, they won't be coming from school from Eden Ridge during the half time. They'll be coming from the local authority and more information will be coming out about how how you can access those. Um, yeah, and I guess you heard from the government last week that school will not be back to at least the 8th of March. So after half term, we've got to keep going. We come back towards the end of February and then we're back to, to what we're in now. But I know you'll keep going. Now, from the question now, I've got some shout outs. I'm not going to tell you them all today because I'm going to give them out over the weeks. So let's, we've got a, sh a few shout outs for Mrs Curry for doing an amazing job with home learning and Zoom lessons. We've got Mr Dono for being great on, on Zoom and helping everybody and also for some planning some great English last week. We've got Miss Wilson for always being at the end of Dojo or the phone. Miss Spencer for trying her hardest to engage all the children. And we've got Oscar from Spain for working really hard. Mummy's super impressed. And Courtney for always trying his best. Amelia from Fiji um, for always working super hard. We have got, let me have a look at my list, Tyler from Fiji. Tyler's not in Fiji, well there is a Tyler in Fiji but it's actually Tyler from USA for also working super hard at home and overcoming some tricky things that, as he goes through home learning. So, there'll be more shout outs next week. There's a lot to take in there everyone. So please just keep doing your best and remember you're all incredible. Have a good week and I'm here if you need me. Take care and we'll see you soon.